I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Blois to do a problem on intersected arcs. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano and Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products in the Dead Destroyer book. We're going to do some really solid work today, and this is a hard one, with Professor Blois on circles. All right, Professor, take over. Okay, well, I hope it's not going to be that hard. Here's the theorem that we're going to be working on. An angle formed by a secant and a tangent is one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a secant and a secant, or a tangent and a tangent, or any combination of a secant and a tangent, the result is always going to be one half the difference of the intercepted arc. So first of all, what is an intercepted arc? Here, look at this diagram here. Here I have AB, which is tangent to the circle, and BD, which is a secant that cuts right through the circle. And the intercepted arcs are this. That section right there is, is one intercepted arc, and here is the second intercepted arc. And basically what an, inter an intercepted arc is, if you look at a slice of pizza, it's the edge around the crust. That's an intercepted arc. Okay, so note that DC is not an intercepted arc. It does not fall inside the span of the circle, okay? So AC and AD are the inter intercepted arcs. So let's do a problem with a specific example. We're given a circle with tangent AB and secant BD, and arc AC is 20 degrees. So we know this is 20 degrees, and we know that arc AD is 86 degrees. So we want to know the angle, find the measure of angle ABD, which would be this angle right there. Well, there we refer to that theorem. It's going to be one half the difference of the intercepted arcs, which is going to be angle B is going to be equal one half the distance of the far arc, which is 86 degrees, minus the near arc, which is 20 degrees. So it's one half 46 degrees and therefore it's 23 degrees, and that's the measure of angle B. Okay, and so here's a problem very much similar. It's, it's given a circle with tangent BC and secant AB, and here it's a, a, a slightly different arrangement, but it's exactly the same principle. If the intercepted arc ADB is measures 82 degrees, okay, here is my intercepted arc, 82 degrees, uh, find the measure of angle ABC, ABC, and the measure of angle ABC is going to be exactly half the measure of angle 82 degrees. So the measure of angle ABC is one half uh, 82 degrees, and that's 41 degrees. And you can see how this works out. What if this um, intercepted, what if this uh, secant were the diameter of a circle? Okay, then you know you'd have a right angle between the tangent and the diameter of the circle. You know the right angle is 90 degrees. Well, you can see what's the measure of that intercepted arc. It's half the uh, arc of the circle. You know a full circle is 360, so half the arc is 180. So you can see that the intercepted arc 180 is exactly twice that of the uh, angle ABC on where the, where the secant and the tangent meet. So that sort of gives a little bit of sense to that theorem. Here we have another theorem very similar. Uh, angle AB, or arc AB, intercepted arc AB is 48 degrees. Find the angle ACB, and it's simply going to be half. Angle ACB is simply half the measure of the intercepted arc, 48 degrees or 24 degrees. So here we have a uh, the intersection uh, of, a, a, of a tangent and a secant, here another tangent and another secant, and here two secants intersecting. Same formula. The angle that subtends those uh, 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 intercepted arcs is one half the far arc minus the near arc. Now, I put this on the same problem but to make sure you have a, make a distinction in your mind. If the arcs are intercepted internal to the circle, then we have a slightly different formula. An angle formed by two intersecting chords is one half the sum of the intersect, uh, intercepted arcs. So for example, in this problem, uh, AC, uh, arc AC is 31 degrees, uh, arc DB is 17 degrees, what is the value of angle X? Angle X is going to now, it's going to be one half the sum of the intersected arcs. 31 plus 17, one half of that is equal to one half 48. 
degrees, and that's going to be equal to 24 degrees. So it's a, it makes a difference as to whether the intercepted arcs are, are measured, uh, are produced from an internal uh, set of uh, chords or from external secants and tangents. And that's the difference between the two in this, in this set of examples. Okay, very nice job. Um, I was electrified. Oh, yeah. um, these were very easy. They looked hard, but you made them look yeah. simple. Well, very simple principles, yes. Very All right. Go over this. You got some really solid work. We'll see you next time for more fun with Professor Blois. Bye-bye.